have one simple trick for you that is gonna guarantee that you are choosing the right curtain length for your home. Curtains come in standard lengths, and guess what they are? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am Carla from Vintage Hip Decor, and today we are hanging out in my living room. I'm gonna be hanging up some curtains and giving you my tips along the way on how to choose the perfect curtain length. I'm very excited for you to see the before and after and the big difference that hanging up curtains makes in a space. So make sure you stick around to the end to see the big difference that it makes in the space. We are about to get into all of that, but before we do, if you love home makeovers and wanna build up your own confidence in your ability to decorate, you're definitely gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button and keep hanging out with us because that is exactly what you'll find on our channel. There are several videos here on our YouTube channel where I'm featuring all sorts of changes and makeovers that I've been making to my living room over the past year. In the latest makeover to this space, you saw me update the wall color for two of the walls here in my living room. I'll link a playlist for you at the end that have all of the makeovers I've done here in my living room over the last year, so you can watch those next. But I only mention this to say, we actually installed these curtains in my living room for the first time back in January before I painted the walls. So let's roll that footage. But today I'm hanging my curtains back up after doing all of that painting work. So I thought it would be a good time to talk to you about how to choose the right curtain length for your space. We all know that paint has the power to transform a space. We've talked about that multiple times on our YouTube channel, but so do curtains. They really dramatically change a space. So if there are rooms in your home that don't have curtains, I wanna challenge you to reconsider. They add so much texture and softness to a space and instantly makes it more cozy and warms it up. Curtains can also make a space feel so much bigger if they are hung properly from floor to ceiling. And of course, most importantly, they provide privacy. And if you think that people are not looking in your windows when they drive by at night and your lights are on, you're definitely wrong. They're peeking inside your house. Okay, so my really simple trick for figuring out exactly what length curtains you need is to start by figuring out what your ceiling height is. So your ceiling height is going to help you determine the correct length of curtain that you need. So every house is built a little bit differently and of course ceiling heights vary, but the common ceiling heights are eight feet or nine feet. And of course you get ceiling heights that are a lot taller than that, but we're just gonna talk about those for right now. So why is your ceiling height important in helping you figure out the right curtain length? You want your curtains to hang all the way from from the ceiling to the floor. You wanna hang them up as high up as you can get them and make sure they stretch all the way down and touch the floor. This is gonna make your ceilings appear even taller and your windows even bigger. So knowing your ceiling height will help you pick the correct length curtain because guess what? Curtains come in standard lengths and guess what they are? They are the same as the standard ceiling heights. So I mentioned that the standard ceiling heights are eight foot and nine foot. So in inches, that's 96 inches and 108 inches. And if you go online and shop around for curtains, you'll see that these are the standard lengths that curtains come in. So let's say you have nine foot ceilings like I do, you automatically know that you need 108 inch length curtains. So that's pretty simple, right? You just need to know your ceiling height and then you will know exactly what length curtains to buy. So you may already know what your ceiling height is or somebody in your family might know that your house has eight foot ceilings. But if not, of course, just grab a measuring tape and measure measure all the way from the floor to the ceiling and that'll tell you exactly how long your curtains should be. Curtains can definitely be a big game changer in this space and now I've made it easy for you by telling you exactly how to pick the right length. And I'll even make it a little bit easier for you and I will link the curtains and the curtain rods that I used here in my living room down in the description for you. I ordered these off Amazon and I am really thrilled with the quality. I think you're really gonna like them too. Okay, now I'm gonna hang up my curtains. I actually do have to just iron them real quick because they have been hanging up in my living room pretty wrinkly for the last couple months. So I'm just gonna get that done really quick, hang them up, and then we can get into all of the before and afters.
found this video helpful and if you did it really helps us out if you can give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to keep hanging out and see more videos like this one but as always thank you for watching and i hope that this inspired you to see your own home in a new light i am carla from vintage tip decor can't even say my own business name correctly why are my lips so tongue or my lips are like not loose lips are loose lips are loose lips are loose man i lost my train of thought there <clears throat> If you love home makeovers, makeovers, <laughs> I'm gonna be hanging up some curtains. Curtains. And if you go online and you shop around for kit <laughs> for kitchens, it was here on our YouTube channel where I'm featuring. Man, these cars outside are so loud. Uh, you saw me update the two 